Hey what's going on guys, just before we dive into the video I want to let you know that we have an awesome Iceborne giveaway running right now with the guys over at Gamersheek for everything you see on screen. A PS4 Pro, a year of PlayStation Plus, the steelbook copy of Iceborne and even the two Monster Hunter Nendroid figures. If you want to enter, click the link in the description box down below. And if you want to save some money on your Monster Hunter pre-order, you can grab it at Gamersheek, use code ARIXGAMING and it will give you a discount making it the cheapest place to buy it that we've seen in the UK. Hey what's going on guys, Arix here, welcome back to another video for Monster Hunter World Iceborne and today I want to take a look at the Namiel armor set, also the Namiel hunt, some of the weapons and basically just talk all about Namiel because it is an incredibly awesome monster, probably one of my new favourite Elder Dragons, it looks awesome, some of its moves in combat are just fascinating and incredible, some of the sound effects associated with the monster and the armor set also looks pretty damn amazing, basically Everything about this monster is just really cool. So in this video, I'm gonna go and take a look at the armor set, show you guys the skills, show you guys some of the weapons, and then at the end of it, give you a chance to see some gameplay of this monster in action. So if you do enjoy this, then a like would be super appreciated. Comment down below, let me know what you guys think of this. Let me know how you guys are getting on in Iceborne so far, all that good stuff. But if we turn our attention to the armor set, this is, it looks incredibly cool. I actually call this like the Splatoon armor because it's got that sort of Splatoon feel to it and if you factor that in with the way that Namiel moves sometimes it's definitely got that sort of Splatoon vibe. I will say the alpha set as you can see looks incredibly cool meanwhile the beta set <laughs> is most definitely not anything I would ever like to be seen wearing so while normally I have always been crafting the beta set simply because they have great slots there is no way in hell you're gonna catch me wearing that thing so uh, I'm taking fashion over function in this situation. However, that is a look at the armor set side by side and all the blue bits you see there can be colored. There's actually quite a lot of color potential with this set. But if we turn our attention to the skills, you have two set bonuses for this one, a two piece and a four piece. The two piece set bonus is elemental acceleration, whereby continually attacking a monster activates not only free elements and ammo up level two, but it also increases elemental damage. And the four piece set bonus takes that one step further and activates free element level three ammo up level 3 and increases elemental damage even further. So basically the way this works is that if you continually attack a monster you're able to activate that skill meaning if you want to take a weapon into a hunt that previously has a hidden element normally you would have to gem in free elements but if you instead take something fast attacking like you know a bow, dual blade, sword and shield something like that you could completely forego free element and then simply attack a lot and activate it in the process. You can see this in the training room. I simply grabbed an old pair of Coulter off dual blades. They have a hidden element. It's got hidden fire on here. And you can see at the beginning, there is zero fire on this. But then after I activate Demon Dance a couple of times, you can see with the frequent attacks, it procs true element acceleration and you now have fire attack on there. Of course, if I switch over to say, my Zenoga Insect Glaive, you can then see that this already has a lot of elemental power in there. That is as far as I can feasibly take the element just by gemming in elemental jewels. But if you then proc the true element acceleration, it then goes beyond that point. So you can get some really, really good elemental damage out of this. And as I've said in previous videos, elemental builds in general are very strong in Iceborne. If you pair that with a monster's elemental weakness, factoring in the kind of buffs they've given to elemental damage, then uh, this is going to be a really, really nice way to play. So this is for sure a very, very cool skill and something that definitely benefits, you know, fast attacking weapons. So I've actually been using this armor set quite a bit at the moment. I haven't kind of got a complete elemental mix set right now. So if I want to run like elemental weapons, a lot of the time I've just been running with complete full Namiel gear. On top of that, you have level five constitution, which of course reduces your fixed stamina depletion by 50%. Again, kind of factoring in weapons that use this sort of thing, which is why this does work quite nicely as a dual blade or a bow set. You have blight resistance level three to nullify all elemental blights, because obviously if you're fighting Namiel, then uh, there's a lot of blights going around. You have tool specialist level three, which shortens the time until you can reuse your tools by 30%. Stamina surge level three to give you 30% stamina recovery speed. And finally, maximum might level two. So again, remember this is the new way that maximum might works. So whilst active, you do get a 20% increase to affinity, but the way that it works now is that you have to have your stamina maxed for a few seconds before the maximum might buff actually triggers and then it stays active for a few seconds after stamina depletion begins. The only way you get it back to how it used to behave is if you go all the way to level five, which you'll get from the Acidic Glavinous Armor, and I'll do a video on that later on this weekend. So generally speaking, some pretty cool skills there. Maybe not everything that you want, and to a degree, you could maybe just spec in, say, two parts of this and pair this with something, say, like 
two parts Velcana, you could do like two Namiel, two Velcana, have elemental acceleration as well as critical element, and then maybe make a rather interesting mix set. That's something that I do want to mess around with. But for the time being, that's how the skills work. Now on the slot front, of course, as always, alpha sets have fewer slots. So the helmet has level one slot, chest piece has two level twos, the arms have a level one, the waist has three level ones, and the legs have a level two and a level one. Meanwhile, the beta set, the ugly set, I mean, maybe it looks cool on female hunters. I haven't seen that, but on males, uh, it looks horrible. However, you've got a level four slot in the helmet, level four and level two in the chest, level four in the gloves, level four and two level ones in the waist, and a level four and a level two in the legs. Now on the weapon front, Namiel also has some really cool weapons. Unfortunately, he doesn't have weapons for every single one of the uh, weapon archetypes. So some of them just look really cool. There are a couple of unfortunate bone variants in there, things like the charge blade or other things like that. However, there are some really, really nice looking ones. The long sword looks amazing. The gun lance I definitely want to make. Not only does it look very cool, but it's also level six normal type gun lance. My favorite playstyle. I love the full burst playstyle for gun lance. So this is one that I am personally pursuing myself. Namiel kind of stems off the Zora tree, so I'm missing a few parts before I can actually craft this, but that's something I definitely want. And the bow, just the way that it folds on your back, because I mentioned the sort of Splatoon-like aesthetic, but it's also almost kind of like an alien being, this armor set. And if you pair that with the bow on the back, you get this sort of like weird alien cradle on your back. So that looks very, very cool. But anyway, that's pretty much it for the time being. I'm gonna leave you guys with a bit of gameplay so you can see Namiel in action. It's really cool the way that it combines water to say flood the field, pull people towards it, as well as thunder, so they can kind of jump on the different parts of the water and electrify them. Some very, very cool mechanics. And also Namiel has her own version basically of a Teostra Supernova, where she goes up into the sky, charges up this powerful move, slams down, explodes the area. And if you get caught in that, you are basically dead. So watch out for that. Check out the gameplay. Let me know if you guys have had a chance to fight this yet. Let me know what you guys think of this. And of course, be sure to keep it locked because we've got plenty more Iceborne stuff coming your way.
I really hope you guys enjoyed that video. Remember to hit that subscribe button and also click on the little bell icon to turn on notifications so you don't miss my next upload. Also, don't forget, you can check out 269 and Paradise Central streaming over on Twitch six days a week. You can find a link to the multi-stream in the description box down below. Be sure to drop by and get involved. Thanks again for watching. Take it easy. Catch you next time. Peace out.